Thanks for tuning in to this video for Read and Write for Google Chrome. Today I'm going to show you a few tools in Read and Write, which are the dictionary, the picture dictionary, and the vocabulary list. Before we begin, though, we want to make sure we are logged into our TCDSB Google Chrome account. So I know I'm logged in correctly because when I click on my profile icon, I can see my email address. I'm also going to look out for those extensions that are available to all students when you're logged into your account. So that's your Read and Write Purple Puzzle Piece, your Equatio Blue Diamond, and your PDF Reader. All right, so let's go over to a website here where I can show you these features. To pull up my Read and Write toolbar, I'm just going to click on the Purple Puzzle Piece once. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the Dictionary tool. So along this website, let's just use our cursor and we're going to highlight a word. So let's use this word here. And I'm going to use this icon that looks like a little book. That's my dictionary. When I click on it, up pops a definition. And with Read and Write, anytime you see a little play button, you can have the text read aloud to you. Friendly. Adjective. On good terms with. I'm friendly with his family. And that's a dictionary. So sometimes you might want some pictures to go along with your definition. And Read and Write has a great picture dictionary. You can use these separately or you can use them together. I'll show you how they work together using the same word. So I have friendly highlighted and all I have to do is click on the icon right next to the dictionary for my picture dictionary. And here's a picture that Read and Write has found to define this word. All right, so the next tool I want to show you is the vocabulary list. So this is when you want to gather more than one word and you can put them all in one document. So I'm going to use my highlighting tools to show you. So I'm going to use my cursor. I'm going to select a few words. So I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to use these highlighters up here. You can choose your color and we will pick a few words on this website to have defined for us all in one document. All right, so I have a few words here. All I have to do now is click on this icon with the three dots and the three rows for my vocabulary list. When I click on this, you'll see that Read and Write is putting together a Google Doc for me. And this Google Doc is going to be saved in my Google Drive, which is awesome, so I won't ever lose it. The only thing is, it's going to be saved as an untitled document. So you do want to get in the habit of always renaming your documents so that you don't have a ton of untitled documents floating around in your drive. So let's go ahead and just change the title of this. All right, and if I take a look at this vocabulary list, I can see that Read and Write has put together the word, the meaning, the symbol, as well as an extra column for me to put in my own notes. Now this is a live doc. You can work with it as you need. So you can go ahead and add words. You can delete. Um, if it doesn't work for you, you can even go ahead and add extra pictures if you like. So if you click on this little icon down here for explore, I can actually use the web to search anything additional. So let's say I want to look for Canada. And I'm going to go to images. So here I might want to add a picture of the country. So as you can see, I can work with this document however I like. And I can go ahead, I can type in my own notes in this last column. So there you have the dictionary, the picture dictionary, and the vocabulary list. Give all of these features a try and see how Read and Write can work for you. Thanks for watching.